So I'm making handles for mugs and I start with a wedged ball of clay and then make it into a teardrop and then put a little handle on it so I can hold it. And then I just pull it down with water. And I start out just going around. And then I start going flat between my thumb and my finger on either side. And then I cut it off with the pin tool. Mm, two's good for now. And so then after I pulled the handle, I let it sit and harden up a decent amount. And I feel like I'm on a little baking show because I have them already made. So then I have a handle. And it's just kind of, you know, not real. It's just a little bit leather hard. And I work on top of foam so I don't dent anything. Even though my fingernails are going to dig into everything. Um, I kind of smoosh down the end so it's more flat and then I shape it into what shape I want it to look like where it's connected to the mug which is just an oval and then use a serrated rib to score and then Do the same thing to the mug in roughly the same shape. And then take some slip and apply it to both. And then I hold it on there and smoosh it down really well. Kind of wiggle it back and forth until it stops moving and then smoosh each, smoosh it around the whole thing. And then I'll clean it up just a little bit with um, a soft sponge. And then I want this to dry kind of straight-ish out, so I'm just going to plug that there. And then I'm going to let that sit and harden for a few minutes. Okay, so now that it has hardened magically so fast, I um, hold it upside down and I'm going to pull it again. And this time I just get the whole thing wet and then I'm just doing a, like a finishing pull. So I'm only going flat and I'm trying to get as close to the top as I can. And this is a good test also so that I know that the handle is well attached because if it was not well attached then I would pull it right off. Right, just a little bit thinner.
And yeah, that's probably pretty good. So then I'm going to grasp it at the bottom and kind of line it up where I want it. I'll try to make it straight. That should be pretty good. And then I'll shape it a little bit. And that could actually be a little bit shorter. There. So then I check to see if it's straight. And it's pretty straight. And then for my bottom, I just kind of cut it at an angle. And then smoosh it down. And then smooth it out. And this is my favorite sponge because it makes it look like there's no fingerprints on it. And then I'll just shape it again. Okay. And that's exactly what I want it to look like. And then the last thing I do is I'll let that sit again for a few minutes. And then I put a little weird thumb rest on the top. Um, and I do that. I usually use the leftovers of my handle. And I roll a little ball. And then I shape it into like a triangle, long triangle, and then just plop it on and smooth it a little bit with my finger. And I let this handle set up enough that I'm not going to bend it too much. I'm still supporting it, but it's hard enough. And then I just smooth it out on the top and all the sides with my smooth sponge. And I like having that thing because it's it's a place for your thumb to rest if you hold it like this, or if you hold it like this, or I guess I don't know how else you would hold it, but I just, I like it. And then I'll just go around and get rid of any fingerprints, and then that's it. That's, that's my handle. Thank you.